Hey, remember me? <laughs> it's Tom from Joy and Route. <laughs> uh, good to be back with you. Uh, let me step outside of Joy here and let's take a look and see where we're at. First of all, um, we're back on the road. So that's fun. And uh, right now, we are in the Baraboo, Wisconsin area. And I am on my way to a Army Corps of Engineers campground, um, a little bit uh, east of the Twin Cities, but still on the Wisconsin side of the border. And uh, I'll check in with you there too. But today, um, actually just gonna be do some, doing some wally docking at uh, Toma, Wisconsin. Uh, but I thought uh, that I'd stop and check out a couple of attractions along the way. Uh, the first, I don't know, it may be kind of mm, weak. <laughs> Maybe that's the word, weak. Uh, let me uh, spin you around and show you what I've found here. Okay. I'm sure that you're completely underwhelmed at this moment. This is actually referred to as Point of Rocks. And it is apparently an outcropping of rocks, obviously, that is millions and millions of years old. I'll put something on the screen to let you know uh, a little bit more about it. But geologically speaking, and I guess if you're into geology, this might be something that is interesting for you having never been a geologist myself mm, don't know it's not uh, jumping out at me as being a really cool thing to visit but that said you know millions and millions of years I guess um, Precambrian I believe is what I read about this outcropping of rocks so that makes it rather special in the world of uh, archaeology so if you're into stones there you go some really 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 old ones point of rocks road is a dead end and um, it's just kind of out here south of baraboo And it uh, looks like an old gas station, uh, decommissioned probably long ago. Uh, somebody's house here. Maybe that's another one of these rocks. Looking out beyond Joy there is Highway 12. A very nice highway heading north into the upper parts of Wisconsin. So, with any luck, this was something of interest, and we'll move along. Okay, another unusual attraction for you. Again, still in the Baraboo, Wisconsin area. We've arrived at a place called Man Mound. This is a National Historic Landmark in Sauk County. So let's see if we can see this. And the unusual thing about this is the shape of this man mound's head. So very interesting. I'll put more information up on the screen for you so you can get a little bit of a greater feel for what it's all about. Although there are some uh, uh, things here that we could read. Let's see. The Man Mound is nationally significant as a rare example of a human-shaped effigy, effigy mound. Effigy mounds are earthen sculptures created in the shapes of animals and spiritual beings by the indigenous people of the area that is now southern Wisconsin and small adjacent portions of Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota between approximately 750 and 1200 CE. 
Effigy, uh, uh, I can say that word. Uh, effigy mounds are respected as burial and sacred sites. So this was dedicated in, in 2016. Looks like a lot of effigy mounds in the area. Linear mounds, conical mounds, and even uh, points that have all sorts of different mounds. Go away, flies. This is an interesting look at uh, how they apparently figured out the shape. I don't know how close to this we can actually go. We'll read the uh, uh, the sign up here that's right at the edge of the mound. And it looks like they have very recently uh, done a little bit of lawn care. So we've got stripes of um, cut grass to look through. Please stay off the man mound. Okay. So that's good. We know that we can't really go past this point, but as you can see, clearly they've been on the mound and uh, did a little bit of mowing. So, I mean, I can kind of sense the overall um, shape here. We're walking down towards the feet. Apparently it was a tree right there. So it looks like we've got the, the feet area right here. And, you know, I'm going to put up the, um, the selfie stick as far as it'll go. And with any luck, we can see a little better. I don't have to yell. The mic is not that far away. It's attached to the brim of my hat. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, you should be able to hopefully see that a little bit better. And then as I pan this way, you can probably see the arms. And we'll go up by the unusually shaped head. And see what that looks like. Uh, the lawn mowing stripes are giving us an interesting kind of um, a topology thing to follow. That I mean, it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and so here's the odd-shaped head. If you can even tell on the film. I know that seeing elevation on a camera just doesn't work well. But I can see, see if I can just kind of point here. The shadow across here is sort of the top of the head. And I can see right here is the shoulder. That would be the uh, left shoulder. And over here is the right shoulder. And then the body, of course, goes down that way. Come on around this side kind of following outside of their mowing pattern. But yeah, so the, um, the odd shaped head kind of coming around that way. Uh, the shoulder, I believe, is like right there. That probably says the same as the other side. 
You may you may be able to see how the uh, the mo lines are kind of waving around and following. I see the arm here and the body just beyond. Looks like another tree was cut from the center of the mound. Uh, lots of trees have been taken out of here, I guess, just so that we could get to them or get to the mound. But yeah, that's uh, quite interesting. A burial mound. I'm seeing some signage here in the edge of the forest that's caught my eye right now as I head back towards Joy. I'll probably stop and see what it is that it's talking about. Uh, it's a no trespassing sign. So apparently this is private property out behind here. Yep, there's a property boundary marker. So we won't go there. Somebody's house right there. And again, I'll just kind of look at the mound as we depart. Um, I'm right here at the edge of the top of the head here. It's uh, hard for me to point in the video to what's on the ground and actually look at my hand in real life because the, the two don't coincide with what I'm pointing at. I do see the shoulder going across here and the arm heading down that way. So, really cool, interesting. Worth a stop and look at the surrounding area here in the uh, Baraboo, Wisconsin area. That looked like a hawk over there. Very large hawk flying our direction. Beautiful. On the hunt. But look at this area. Alright, let me retract the uh, selfie stick here. Spin you around here. See if I can get the camera to come alive or the yeah, the front camera never comes alive after it's turned off. So we got another um, place that we're going to go. And uh, I'll um, give you a little drive time video for this one. i got to grab the dash clip so I can get you set up to watch that. But uh, we'll be driving through some of this pretty area, and we're going to be going into the Wisconsin Dells. So hang on.
the next left, then your destination will be on the left.